Yellow fellow humans. I'm Eli Butler. If you've been in class with me for a while, I mean like business one and business two because I'm business three now. Um, this is just more me. I guess some new information, a lot of old information as well. More updated information more than anything. Let's go. My Beth. Um, I'm born October 25th. So close to Halloween. I love Halloween's favorite holiday. Born in October, obviously. Scorpio, yada, yada, yada. Um, actually, I'm born two days before my mom's birthday, so that's always very fun. Kind of like an early birthday present. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it is what it is. My travels. I was born in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which always had these amazing balloon festivals. They were always fun to go to and whatnot. Then we ended up moving to Clovis because my mom was getting married to my new dad. Um... It's kind of like a cow town. Very much a lot of cows. A lot of smell. Mainly from the cow dung, but yeah, cows. Also, fun fact, the water is apparently very full of, like, calcium or whatever. So now I have like, these, like, little white dots in some of my teeth that, I guess, grew technically while we were there. It's weird. Anyway, then I moved to Sarita, which is where I still currently live, even though I go to school up here in Vale, too. It, it's technically, the school is technically in Tucson, whatever. I live in Sarita now. We have this cool, like, water park and whatnot. It's, it's honestly pretty cool. Like, everything you would ever need is within, like, five miles of you at most. Then again, I come to school here, and I go to work up at Denny's on Houghton. So it's like, I travel, by dudes. Um, my family. We have my mom and my new dad. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying that. Like, my biological dad doesn't really matter in this case. Anywho. Uh, that's just them. Like, we were recently, like, renovating some rooms because, like, we are moving around after my older brother left. I don't have a picture of my older brother on here, mainly because it's kind of hard to fit stuff, and I don't have a picture of him on this phone. I also don't have a picture of my younger sister that's older than this one in the middle. She's, like, my favorite. She's, like, a demon, but she's my favorite demon. This one right here is Rylan in the middle. She's all about that paparazzi look. She's, like, all pretending to be... Well, not even pretending. She's, like, acting all fancy and old times. She's, like... Look how gorgeous I am. It's like literally her thing. And then we have my younger brother. This dude. I don't even know how I actually got a weird picture of him. But it just happened. Some weird stuff was going on with his glasses. Because like he was holding them at a weird angle. It was great. Not very much a silly man. But he is what he is. Alright. Now we got some of my art. The middle column is just a bunch of like. Sculptural stuff I guess. Technically if you really want to call it that. The top one is actually a Zygarde whistle, which is really cool. The middle one is, like, this box, obviously, that has a lid and whatnot. Um, each side is actually a different villain theme from Pokemon and their symbol and whatnot. And on the inside, there's some stuff from Pokemon X and Y with the legendaries and, like, the big old weapon that is created by Team Flare. Um, on the far left, that's just some stuff I did one time in art class. We were, like, doing some, like, cool, like, abstract stuff. I think it was technically abstract. Whatever. It looks cool. I like it. And then on the farthest right is my comic. That's actually from like the most recent chapter, which I'm literally like one or two days of actually working on it from finishing. Lovely scene. I'm not going to bother explaining it because like then I go off into a long tangent. That's not here for anyone. My games. Um, First thing first, Smash Bros. is not on here. I haven't really been playing that too much. Main Lucario on there. He's fun. Secondary Bayonetta. Very fun. Actually, my most played character is Bayonetta. On the far left, we have Jaina from Fantasy Strike. Fantasy Strike is, I mean, it's like a new game I started picking up, mainly because it's free now. So, if a game's free, and it's a fighting game, I'm probably going to play it. It's actually been a pretty good time. Um, for ranked, my team is Jaina, the one lawyer dude with a ghost, I forgot his name, for whatever reason. DeGray, yes, DeGray. And then, what's the dude's name? Was it a girl's name? Yeah, Valerie. We have Valerie, who's the one painter chick. She's cool. Um, in the middle here, I mean, we got my Dragon Ball Fighter scene, which is probably the game I've actually, I would say I put the most time into, but I know for a damn fact Smash Bros. still has more time into it, but my main character probably is Tien. I played him since the very beginning, he was always on my team since the very beginning. Um, we have Fuse Zamasu, he is so much fun, I mean, he kind of sucks in a sense, but he is so much fun, and I know you guys can barely see him, but in the back there, there's Cooler. He's being blocked by um, Fuse Zamasu's giant halo of gloriness. If you guys play the game at all, I play Fuse Zamasu Point. 
I play TN in the middle, and I play Cooler in my back. So, there's that. And over here, we got Raiden from, obviously, an MK11. I knew the moment I started playing the game, I was going to main this man. Play it, got into the point of the story mode. Once I saw that Storm Cell move, mwah, perfection. Play Variation 1 for Ranked. And I used to play him a lot in casual. I don't really play casual that much anymore, at least not with him. For my casual, I mainly use Sub-Zero with the ice move on the floor. Um, I used to play him with, like, the Thunder Flight where you could, like... I play him very zony in that sense. Even now, I still play him zony because of the teleports and whatnot. Anywho, long tangent, not trying to do that. My shows. There's a lot of options to pick from, so I'm just going to pick with what I'm kind of re more recently watching. Me and my brother are watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine together. Captain Holt is a king. He is amazing. He's perfect. Um, Kirishima is my favorite character in My Hero Academia. I knew before even watching the show he was going to be my favorite character. I kind of just picked him to be my favorite character before I started watching the show. And turns out the char character's not a jerk or anything, so I still love him. He's amazing. Um, we got Zahair over here. I mean, I'm only really put this because, like, Legend of Korra, everything came out on Netflix. I've always loved him. Him and P. Lee are, like, the best couple in all of animation. Who doesn't want a strong woman? I don't know. That's, like, the most perfect thing ever. Zahair's perfect. She's perfect. They're great. Combustion. Airbending. Woo! Uh, my favorite movies. These are movies I could really watch at any point in time, anywhere, and I would just love it. We got Hot Fuzz. Literally the most rewatchable thing ever. Mwah. Edgar Wright is the, has to be my favorite director. His like transitions are amazing. He's lovely. As are Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. They're great too. We got Coraline. Oh my goodness. I used to be so into Coraline. It was ridiculous. I, I probably was way too into Coraline. Like all these theories and videos and whatnot. They were amazing. I have the book. Haven't read it yet. And I have a couple of Funko Pops of the Mr. Bobinski, which is best boy, best character, best everything. I think I have another one of Coraline in her rain suit and the other mother. All those are amazing. Um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. This probably used to be a... This? Coraline? Oh, I didn't even put Megamind on here. Dang. Those were all movies. Like Coraline, Coraline Megamind, and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Those were all movies I used to watch on like a daily basis. I got addicted to them. They were great. So much rewatchability for them. And they're just amazing. Now my 10 stuff. Number one, we got my DS Lite. I've had this since I was like, I want to say, no, 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 yeah, seven. Yeah, seven. My mom got it for me. It's amazing. I used to have this one game on it. I had to do with this, like, I don't even remember what it's called. But anyway, obviously, I eventually got into Pokemon, and that was really fun. This has been here, like, my entire life. The spine is kind of broken, so it doesn't really stay open, but I still use it sometimes for shiny hunting. If I do that, kind of falling out of shiny hunting. It's, uh, I mean, I've kind of moved on to just playing a lot of fighting games because I don't have as much time as I used to. Uh, we got Denny's. Denny's is actually a big part of my life now. I mean, it's like my first real job. I used to clean a church with my brother, but that was about it. This is great. Dude, that cook was my favorite. He was so much fun. That was a weird day, but he was dressed up as bacon. It was great. As you can see, it's actually like a Denny's costume that we had for some reason. Um, I mean, that's just me cleaning the bathroom, so it's whatever. All right, my 3DS. This is actually not my first 3DS. My first 3DS was a big old blue one. This is a new 3DS that's red. Um, I mean, I bought it. This is the first thing I... Well, like, the first, like, video game console, I guess, if you want to call it that, that I ever bought with my own money. So it actually means a lot to me. And I got it a lot through gambling, technically, because my family used to bet on, like, NFL teams for, like, Super Bowls and most playoff. Like, who would win the Super Bowl and who would get the most, like, wins throughout the entire thing? We used to have, like, a certain number of teams based on how many of us were, like, going into it. And that year, I won both of them. I won the normal season with the m most wins out of, like, all my teams together. And I won the Super Bowl with the Patriots. That was a lovely year. Uh, this is my camera. I used to actually do a lot of YouTube and whatnot. That was a big part of my life. I don't really do that much anymore. Actually, I don't do it really at all. I think I've, like, uploaded a few things randomly just to, like, just show off weird glitches, really, in Smash Bros. But, like, they weren't ever, like, any extensive. They were literally, like, 10-second videos. Just because I thought it was weird that, like, Nana could teleport. But that's besides the point. Alright, we got some masks here. These have always been really fun to me. The first one, which is on the most left, I made all the way back in, like, 8th grade during art club. That was a ton of fun. Like, and plaster gauze is probably the most used skill I've ever gotten from, like, any kind of art class. Like, it's the best thing ever. Like, dude, I don't know why, but my teacher in middle school for art was, like, the best, like, teacher ever. Like, 
There's so much stuff I've learned from that I still use today. Some of it I don't use as often as I used to, but I've kind of like evolved my art style and the way I draw and whatnot to make it more productive, I guess, for me, if you want to call it that. Uh, the middle mask is actually a thing I used for my costume back in freshman year. I was that weird jack-in-the-box thing from the Krampus movie. It was really cool, though, because I actually had made it to a point where it had a functional jaw. And on the farthest right, you have my Toby mask, which is what I was for my junior year of Halloween. Obviously, he's like my... One of my, definitely one of my favorite characters from Naruto. If we're talking just straight up villains, Zabuza might still be my favorite. And then I've already dressed up as Hidon, which is probably my favorite Akashi member. But then again, Toby's really cool. Like, I'm calling, I'm talking about Toby Toby, not Obito. And not like him pretending to be Madra. I don't, I mean, those are good too. Like, Obito is freaking fantastic as a character. Him pretending to be Madra is like, kind of eh. Tangent, just like, let's avoid tangents. Okay. We got my Switch. Once again, bought it with my own money. Love it a lot. Those are not the original Joy-Cons. They were originally, like, these black and gray ones. Um, bought these because the other ones were drifting way too hard. These are technically European Joy-Cons. Sometimes they don't click in quite right. Like, they feel a little bit weird clicking in, but they're amazing. Um, I've actually been... I've used this a lot. Like, dude, I love consoles. I don't. I don't like consoles. I like handheld stuff. I've always been the person to have 3D... I literally have a DS Lite, a 3DS, a Game Boy Advance SP. And then this comes out, and it revolutionizes everything for me. Like, there was no, was no way I wasn't getting it, especially since the next Pokemon game was coming out, so I was bound to get it no matter what. So now I have it, and it's amazing. And it's like probably the most addicting console of all time. If it... Dude, if it just didn't have a four-hour battery life, it would be the most perfect thing ever. All right. We got some of my swords. Um, the one at the very top is just a lightsaber option from Disney World. Like, these are all the cheap lightsabers. Like, the cheap lightsabers are the way to go. For, like, $40, you can get a double bladed one. It's really good. Speaking of which, the next two are two, are, they're supposed to be a double bladed lightsaber. The thing is, they allow it to have a split saber, like, functionality, but me and my brother were, one time were fighting, and then he kind of broke my lightsaber in half somehow. I probably tried to block him with the middle for some reason. Then again, there's also after taking it apart and reattaching it a bunch of times. So maybe he just got any sort of a hollow point. The next one under that is the big old wooden sword. I got that from the Medieval Festival. Same with the one right under it. They're both really cool. The big old wooden one is probably my favorite one to mess around with. Because it has the most weight to it, obviously. And it just feels right. But at the same time, it has, still has a nice like curved handle. So I can still do some spinny stuff with it. Like Darth Maul. That's kind of why I love double lightsabers. But it's what ever. That classic one I've had for a really long time. The, the bottom one, that's like a ninja sword. Uh, I used to use that a lot in like a bunch of random YouTube videos. So much fun. Alright. This is my... Uh, well, if you've ever taken an art class at our place, you've probably had to do... I forget what it's called, but it's like this big old art book you had to make with a bunch of different assignments throughout the entire year. It's great. Um, so I'm like, my thing was entire, my entire thing was just a bunch of different mythologies. I did a different, like, one for, like, every quarter. As you can see, there was, like, some Greek mythology stuff I did there. That's over there in the left. That's Hermes fighting some, like, those ghost spirit things, whatever. Not ghost spirits, sorry, cloud spirits. And over on the far right, that's the nine tails from, like, technically from Naruto. I actually did, like, all the different tailed beasts that year besides the ten tails because I don't think I knew that one existed yet. I wasn't that far in Naruto at the time. But at the same time, I don't know if I would have done it anyway. Tangent averting. Number nine. This boy is too much importance. Isaac is great. He's lovely. We always had to like play off our imaginations together. It's like it's fantastic. We have so many different imaginary characters. Like it's ridiculous. Like and we kind of help each other develop our characters. Like he has this entire thing called the Blood Family. I've kind of helped develop them to now to the point where like they're all half demons except for the first one, which is a pure demon. It's this whole complicated ordeal, once again, tangent avoiding. And speaking of my made-up characters, um, I have a comic. I've been working on this since September in freshman year. It's, I love it. It's like my, it's my favorite baby. It's, mwah. It's perfection. Uh, the goal is to get it done in 150 chapters. I'm currently only on chapter 13 somehow after like three years, but it is what it is. Um, I mean, first chapter is like over there. On the farthest left, it's like chapter 6 or 7 or something in the middle. And then this is chapter 13, which is what I'm still currently working on. Once again, I'm like one or two days away from finishing it. Also, 
trying to be like developing them into like webtoons in a sense. So like it's basically just a mastered colored version and I'm uploading on there. Currently like only the first two chapters are done, but it is what it is. Um yeah, that's it. I mean, if you know me, you know me. If you don't, um and you're listening to this, yeah, I think you're probably like I don't remember what grade here. What is it, like, economics class, freshman? You could be a freshman. You could be coming in from a different school. You could be older. Anywho. This is just a lovely picture from One Piece. I, I love that scene so much. Anywho, have a wonderful day. I don't know who's going next or whatever, how we're doing this, because obviously we ha I recorded this ahead of time. Peace out, homies.